this is Stampy, and welcome to another Let's Play on... This is the fourth and final level that I am going to be making for Choo Choo. And this one is in the, the style of Super Mario Bros. U, which is the uh, the new kind of fancy 3D looking style. And I've decided uh, this one's going to be a castle one. And the entire level is going to be based on one simple mechanic, uh, which is going to be on the uh, the end of the, the level. And so I think the, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, build that. So I'm going to guess how long my level's going to be. Uh... I guess this long, sure, why not? I'm going to have to commit. So this is how long the, the level's going to be. <laughs> and I came up with a cool idea. So the idea is I'm going to have Bowser at the end, which I know isn't a very revolutionary idea, but hopefully what I'm going to be doing uh, is uh, still going to be quite cool. So what I'm going to do is uh, right about here, where actually, can I make this gate slightly? Oh, look, I can build over the, the gate. There we go. So if I make this gate slightly smaller, and then I'm going to put some ground in here, uh, which is going to be made uh, out of these uh, these bricks. Actually, no, I've changed my mind. I'm going to go and delete this back. I'm going to do it slightly further away. And uh, yeah, so the idea is, is that Bowser is going to be standing quite happily uh, right about here. And then this area will be blocked off. So I need to get past Bowser to get to the end of the level. Once again, nothing very revolutionary here. The twist is is that it's going to be impossible because it's going to be blocked off just like uh, this. So basically what it means is, is Bowser uh, isn't going to be able to move from where he is. And there would be literally no way for me to get past. Unless I could maybe kind of jump and jump out and then around. But uh, yeah, I'd make it so that's not possible. I don't know. I'll put some, um, some spikes. I'll put, I'll put a big saw up here. So yeah, you cannot get over. <laughs> and so the only way I would be able to get through is with this uh, uh, this question mark uh, button. If I jump in it, you'll see this will turn to, to coins. And then I would, if I was a little bit better, uh, be able to, to get past relatively safely. So this is kind of how the, the end of the, the level is going to be. The twist is is that that question mark block is going to be nowhere near any of this it's actually going to be hidden somewhere from the uh, the beginning so the idea is running from left to right in the way he will at the, the beginning is going to be relatively easy it's going to be pretty simple but running the other direction uh, will be a lot harder so he's going to have to get all the way to the end well he's probably going to get to the end and he's going to try and complete the level and realize that he can't basically and so then that way he's going to have to, to head back uh, all the way back to, to here and so uh, what this does mean is that I can't give him any uh, question mark, uh, not question marks, um, uh, mushrooms, because uh, otherwise he might be able to cheat and get through Bowser. So uh, there's going to be no mushrooms at all in the, the level, uh, apart from after he's got the, the power blocks. It doesn't matter so much. So the first thing I need to do is make uh, make a place where the, the power block's going to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so there's an area here uh, where all he needs to do is go and drop down like that very easy peasy. And let's add a little bit more ground here just so he can uh, see where he needs to go. And then I'm going to add some invisible uh, blocks uh, along along here just like this and then this way it means that running this direction he'll be fine but if he went to jump back up it means he's almost definitely uh, going to hit one of them in fact he definitely is going to hit one of them so what i can do is actually go and add vines in all of these uh, so then that way it uh, means that when he's uh, on his way back he is guaranteed uh, going to set one of these vines off uh, which is going to make its way all the way up here and then this is where the uh, the question mark block's going to be but we'll worry about that a little bit later uh, for now uh, let's just go and uh, continue uh, adding to the the level then shall we so as i said it's going to be relatively simple heading in this direction uh, it's going to be not too challenging uh, whatsoever and actually i'm going to go and get rid of a few of these because i don't i want him to accidentally uh, discover them on his first time going this way and uh, let me just make sure he won't i guess he could jump like here and actually nope he's still okay let me just do one more test jumping early and oh he did hit that one there so uh, what i could do is just uh, go and extend this out a little bit further and then he's uh, almost guaranteed not to, to hit it all right then uh, let's go and do the the, the level then so uh, what i'm going to do now is i'm going to do a jump which would be easy uh, going the way he is going at the moment but hard the other way so if i do this one lower down here you'll see that jumping this direction uh, it's really no trouble whatsoever but going back the other way and it's all oh, it's uh, it's still not too bad but it's a little bit harder in fact i'm gonna make it even harder let's make that a uh, lower oh, i can't go any lower than that actually uh, but this should still uh, be a, a pretty difficult jump uh, going back the the other way let me go and try and test it oh there we go it's only uh, just about makeable when you're going back in that direction uh, so what other challenges would be good going one way? 
but difficult going the other way. Oh, if I had these, I could have these one-way door things, actually. These would be quite a good way to, to block him. So let's go and add some normal ground in back down here again. And so running this way, uh, all he needs to do is go and run straight through that gate, which is going to be super easy. But going the other way, well, let's uh, add a, a much higher platform, uh, which he needs to, to get over, uh, which will be a, a lot more difficult. And we could add uh, a whole bunch of uh, enemies up there, uh, which he needs to, to face. So, uh, yeah, if I go, uh, I don't need to go too high. I guess I'll just go here and uh, then that way all he needs to do is go underneath there and uh, let's go and block it off here because I don't want him to go up this way on the way there I mean it doesn't matter if he did it would just make it harder for himself but <laughs> I'd rather uh, allow him to have an easy way going in that first direction uh, so now uh, let's go and add in some enemies up here we could uh, uh, add a, uh, a few thwomps up here uh, they're always a, a pretty nice challenge actually I don't want them too high because uh, I need to make sure he can see them let's do one uh, maybe right about here and uh, we could also go and uh, add in some of these guys can be wandering around because uh, these ones don't uh, drop off the, the platform. They can be going back and forth there. And then let's add uh, something else more difficult uh, at the, the top here. I could just do, um, well, I could do a piranha plant maybe could be here uh, that he needs to, to try and get past when he's jumping back going the, the other way. So there we go. Once again, uh, so when he's going this direction, all he needs to do is go and run under it all. But then going back the other way, he needs to actually go and uh, gets past all of these enemies. As you can see, I failed to do. <laughs> and tell you what, Let's make the font bigger, just because I want to make it a little bit scarier. There we go, and then we can move him into the the middle. All right then, uh, what's the the next challenge going to be? So once again, I want it to be pretty easy going in one direction, uh, but harder going in the the other direction. I think doing some more jumps uh, that are easy to go one way, but hard to go the other way. Actually, I could do some moving platforms. Uh, it might be good fun. Uh, maybe tell you what, I'll do it so he goes up higher somewhere now. And then uh, what I do, I do it so that he's kind of jumping his way down here. Uh, and then on the other time, he needs to jump his uh, his way up. So uh, let's go and uh, add some uh, platforms here that kind of get higher and higher. So we'll do a platform there. And then we'll do a platform here. I'm looking at the little uh, slider at the bottom. And I can see I'm just about halfway through the, the level. So uh, I don't actually have that much more room to add things. I could technically uh, move the entire thing back. I could just copy and paste it. But I'm kind of happy with how it is. So uh, all he has here are a, a few simple jobs that he needs to, to make and uh, let's do one more going up uh, even higher here shall we uh, let's make it a little bit further away and uh, go up to about this height tell us go one higher seems he can easily make that jump anyway and yeah now uh, he basically just needs to go and jump down to about here say and go and carry on uh, it's going to be a very simple jump but on the way back he's going to have to go and try and climb up here and we're going to do uh, a few difficult jumps uh, that he needs to, to make in order to, to do that so tell you what if we do one of these um one of these trails, uh, we could go like this and then to here and then there and there back. And what we could do is add a bunch of enemies onto it because I am mean. <laughs> And so then that way we could go and what could we add on to here? Can we add these guys on here? Oh, we can. Okay, let's see what happens with these. Oh, these are quite good because they do quite a big trail. Can you jump on their on their backs, actually? I think you might be able to. Let me let me give this a little bit of a, a test. Oh, yeah, but it gets all angry. Let me try that again and see if I can do that slightly better. That might be quite a, a fun thing to do. I was thinking of just using them as an enemy, but um, there you go. You've got to try and bounce uh, along them. Let me see if it would be possible then to make your way up to the, the top by just bouncing on one of them. It might be a little bit too difficult. I know I am trying to make it difficult, but I don't know if that's just pushing it a little bit too fast. Let's try and bounce it. No, I think that is a, a little bit too hard. Let's get rid of him. Fun as they were. <laughs> I'm going to go and uh, put a more traditional enemy on it. What about these guys? Because these guys throw things. Let me see what happens if I put him on there. Yeah, so he's constantly throwing things. That is... Once again, I think slightly too mean. I know I'm trying to be mean here, but let's not go crazy. Let's just go and put some of these on. These are uh, a nice, good old-fashioned obstacle. If we put, uh, let's say, uh, four of these on, and then we'll put some blocks on as well, uh, which he actually needs to, to go and try and jump on. So, and the last level I did ice, let's just do some uh, of these stones, shall we? And uh, actually, I want all of these to be heading. Actually, no, let's not have them all heading in the, the same direction. Let's do them uh, heading in different directions, shall we? Uh, just to make things a little bit more con uh, confusing. There we go. So these are going to be going randomly all over the place. And so you need to try and jump on the, the stones and uh, try and avoid the, the enemies. This is actually going to be pretty challenging. Uh, I think it's actually going to be way too challenging. Let's go and uh, make it so there's less of these. Uh, let's spread them out and then that should hopefully uh, be okay. I'll test it uh, properly a little bit later on. And look, we are almost at the, the end of the, the level here. 
And so we kind of have uh, time uh, for one more challenge. So uh, tell you what, we, what we uh, could do is uh, once again go up a little bit higher here and make it so this jump is much easier. So uh, this way all he needs to do is jump from here and he can jump over whatever enemy I'm going to put there. But on the way back he kind of has to go and face it. So if I go and put a little platform uh, down here which he can be trying to, to get to. If I make that a little bit bigger and drag it down to there. Uh, is that jump possible? I think it will be. Uh, yep it's possible but as I said very difficult. And then we could add some, uh, some fire. Uh, could be bouncing out uh, of here. So let's go and put a, a couple of these down so once again from here he can kind of jump over them and they're really not going to be much trouble whatsoever but on the way back it's going to be a lot more difficult and then yep there's going to be that bit straight after it as well which he probably won't enjoy very much <laughs> right then here we go time for the uh, the final section so as you can see uh, from here uh, there's not much I could do in order to, to get through there. And I don't actually like this Thor. Uh, I think I'm just going to go and uh, I don't actually need to have the, the ceiling uh, with a limit because he's not going to go anywhere, is he? So I can just make this uh, a lot taller uh, and then that way uh, it kind of blocks you going anywhere else. So when he drops, uh, what I could also do is kind of have a little safer route up here. Uh, so let me just go and test this. Let me go and grab one of these for now. Uh, I don't want him to die now. If he died after he's uh, already made Bowser drop, it wouldn't be much fun. So there we go. He can kind of uh, go and jump up here and then jump to the, the end and... Uh, defeat Bowser. So uh, now uh, the final thing I really need to do is uh, go and choose where the uh, the block's going to be. So let's go all the way uh, back to the very beginning of the, the level. And uh, I'm going to do a, a platform uh, which is going to be high up here somewhere. So if I do a, a bridge, uh, then this way the, the vines will actually go through the, the bridge and he can just go and uh, jump off safely. So it's going to be a bit of a floating bridge. Let's try and let's pretend that this bridge has been held up by these fire bursts because I don't like uh, doing floating things too much. I know it's ridiculous. I know that in Mario games, like everything is just randomly floating, but <laughs> I can pretend it's been held up by these. And so uh, now uh, let's actually let's stretch this bridge out a little bit further and then we can go and add the... Um, uh, this here and it really doesn't matter when he hits it uh, basically because um, yeah well once he hits it then Bowser's gonna have dropped and he can just go and uh, head straight back to the end of the level oh I know I know what I should do if I do this bridge um, if I actually had a, a few bridges I kind of want him to see what happens uh, because rather than making him go back to do the entire level again, I'm, I might just make it so he goes over the, the top and then he can actually see Bowser drop. I think that would make uh, a lot more sense. I'll tell you what, forget the bridge idea. Uh, let me just go back to where Bowser was and let me just go and build this out. Uh, along here so uh, actually no that's way too low I don't want uh, uh, him to be banging his head on anything so let's uh, build this up a little bit higher and then build it along here hopefully this is going to be high enough yep I can't really see anything else uh, beneath me so this should be okay so let's build this uh, all the way along and now let's work out where the vines are so the vines come up here uh, let me check and uh, and see uh, whether I am going to be able to get to the block and all there's uh, so many of them going up <laughs> <laughs> That's just to be careful. And can I get through that? No. So I do uh, need to go and uh, add the uh, the bridge uh, on the, the end here again. So uh, let me go and grab the uh, the old bridge. And uh, let's go and drag this out. Uh, and then can I build anything along here? I don't know if I can build. Oh, yeah, there we go. I can build to the edge of the, the level anyway. So let's pretend it's been held up by this beam somehow. So there we go. That's how the uh, that's how the, the bridge is being held up. <laughs> and uh, let me just check the, the vine on the very edge here. Uh, whether that goes to the, the bridge or not. Or the, the blocks. Because if it uh, goes to the blocks. Nope. Uh, this is looking perfect. So now uh, there's going to be a straight run all the way down here and I might just add a load of coins in here as just a, a fun thing to be picking up uh, while he goes and heads over and look at him going crazy <laughs> and so then here he could drop down hmm he still really can't see Bowser so what I could do is add a little drop down here uh, just to about here and then he's going to properly uh, be able to, to see what's going on so let's build this down here and then let's go and add this uh, right about here so then this way when he gets to here he's going to do this and he's going to see uh, that Bowser has dropped and then I could add a, a little exit here uh, so then this way uh, all he needs to do is go and drop down here and then he can go boop and then jump uh, across and then end the, the level. But hopefully do it a little bit better than I did, of course. <laughs> right then, let's actually, let's make this, um, let's make this a little bit wider. Just because I want to make sure that when he drops off, uh, he doesn't just drop straight into the, the lava. I guess he can see the, the fire, uh, so he does know that it is uh, going to, to be there. So let's go and uh, do this here like this. And uh, then that way he's pretty much definitely going to go and actually land on the land. And rather than just, uh, yeah, rather than just falling in. So there we go, this is uh, the basic uh, level done. So as I said, I'm going to add a whole load of coins here uh, because yeah it's a lot more fun uh, adding a uh, coins in. it's a good way to, to kind of say that yes you are going in the the right way because it might uh, seem a little bit like he's breaking the the level and going outside it uh, so adding in the coins kind of says yep this is the uh, the way that you are are meant to, to go so I think 
uh, this is pretty much the uh, the level as I want it to, to be. So uh, how about I go now and uh, do a, a little bit of a, a test to go, shall we? So I'm going to go uh, back to the, the start. I am going to, to press play and I'm going to play it as if I didn't know what was happening. So this is what he would do. He would run to here and then, oh, that's a bit of a leap of faith. I might, I might add some more coins in there uh, just so he knows that you can go that way because otherwise he might be a little bit scared to jump off. And uh, as it's supposed to be, uh, the, the level running in this direction is very, very easy. I can basically skip out these fire things at all. That was a little bit dangerous there, but oh no, I can't get through because Bowser's here, which means I need to go and head back in this direction. And this is where things get a, a little bit more difficult. <laughs> and I didn't actually test this bit, so uh, hopefully this part is actually possible. If I go and stand here, actually this isn't too bad. If I just go and stand on this and then, oh no, I got squashed off. I got squashed off. Right, this is why we test the level. Uh, let's go and shake things up a bit here. What I might do is I might change it. Uh, so I do have a, a big platform on. I might be a little bit nicer than I was before. <laughs> and uh, let's do it going around in this direction, shall we? So if that's going in that direction, these could all go in the, the other direction. And I tell you what, let's make these bigger as well. Seeing as I'm making it a lot easier, let's make these a lot bigger. And uh, let's test this. Let's just see uh, how difficult or how easy uh, this ends up being now. So I'm going to wait for the, the platform to go around the, the next time. And I'm going to try and jump on and uh, see if I can avoid them at all or not. Uh, it is going to be very difficult. Uh, I think the I think the timing's quite difficult. If I just kind of... Hmm. I might change these to something else. What happens if I put spikes on? Do the spikes move around? Oh no, the spikes just stay where they are. Actually, this might be even better then. Because that way I know where they're going to be. Uh, so let's go and uh, fill in what I just broke by accident. And then let's just add spikes on the, the straight bits. Uh, so then they're things that you're going to, to have to uh, go and try and jump over. So if I do a spike there and a spike there. I think this is a lot more doable. So you need to go whoop and uh, jump over it. And I might make the uh, the spikes a little bit higher to make it harder. So then I'd need to go and keep heading back this way. And then down here and then down here. And then, oh yeah, this is where I need to, to actually fight these enemies this time. I can actually try and make the, the thwomp uh, kill the um, uh, the uh, the Koopa Troopers like this. If I go back here a bit and then wait for them to go underneath, I could go boom! <laughs> there we go. That's them dealt with. That's quite fun. And then, then I just need to avoid this piranha plant. There we go. Just about. And then is there anything here? Oh no, this is just a really difficult jump, isn't it? Oop! There we go. I managed to, to make it and I'm going to jump up here and oh! Wait a minute. What is this? It's a piranha plant. <laughs> All I need to do now is go and climb up to the, the top. I can go and collect all of these coins, which is, as I expected, lots of fun to pick these up very quickly. And then here's the uh, the final part of the, the level. I might actually add a, another mushroom here uh, just to make sure he doesn't fail. And I definitely am going to add another mushroom here <laughs> to make sure he doesn't fail, seeing as I just did. And I, of course, uh, need to go and block this off here, otherwise he could just jump to the, the end. Uh, so let's do it with a, a mushroom uh, so I can go. Oh, oh no, I lost the, the mushroom anyway, uh, but let's see if I can complete it. Now Bowser's down there. There we go. I was able to complete it anyway. So as always, I'm going to spend a little time just uh, testing it a bit more and adding some more coins in just to, uh, to make it so the, the level's slightly better. Then I'm going to send that to Choo Choo, uh, but hopefully he has been building a level for me as well and uh, so if he has I'm gonna be playing that right about now okay here we go let's play Choo Choo's level Stampy Cat goes back in time okay is this my time machine oh no I think this is like a, a medieval castle I think yeah look they're the the cannons and the rockets <laughs> I don't remember the the jet rocket thingies in real life medieval times and wait a minute could I just go and like jump over the top I think if I Okay, maybe, maybe I should not do that. <laughs> I think, you see the, the grass on the, the top of the level? I think if I was careful, I could just go up here and run along the entire top of the, the level. Uh, but I think that would be cheating, so let's not do that. Let's go back down <laughs> and let's do this properly. I don't know, maybe that is what you're supposed to do. It's kind of hard to to not go up there, to be honest. You've got to do like a really small jump. But nope, I don't think I'm supposed to be uh, up there. No, it only goes to there anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. And what's that thing? I don't know what that thing here is. What's... Oh, is this a... Is this a... um? Uh, a time machine? Oh, maybe it's like um, like the uh, the DeLorean from uh, Back to the Future. Maybe that's the the car. I reckon that's what it is. And I think this little guy in here. I think that's supposed to be the the driver. Uh, right then, let's keep going. Okay, there's lots of spikes. There's a fire flower there, which I would really like to get, but it looks very challenging. Oh, I think I do need to get it. I think I need to go whoop. Oh no, did I get it? There we go. I got it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that I got hit because I got this as well. And then I need to jump here, and that does matter. Falling down there does definitely matter because I died. Ah, I know I'm doing pretty awful at it, but it is uh, definitely uh, his most challenging level yet. Until now, I haven't had uh, much trouble, uh, Trouble, uh, but it looks like he's certainly trying to, to step up the uh, the difficult uh, the difficulty for the, the final level we're doing. All right, let's grab the fire flower, and oh no, I got... <laughs> right, next time. Next time is going to be the time. If I don't do it this time, I'm going to do a forfeit. 
I'm not sure what the either forfeit's going to be yet, but I'm going to somehow forfeit myself if I don't do it this time, because I know I'm probably annoying you for doing so bad, but it's okay. I understand how bad I'm doing. I don't think that I'm good. <laughs> All right, let's try and get the fire flower. There's those, like, the cannonball and stuff in the... Right, I'm doing a forfeit. What can my forfeit be? Right, my forfeit is uh, that I need to... I don't know. I don't know. I died again immediately. My forfeit is that I need to carry on trying to play this level and struggling through it. <laughs> the level's fine. There's nothing wrong with the level. I realize that the problem is all me, but it's okay. I need just a bit of concentration. Tell you what, while I do it this time, I'm going to go quiet. I'm going to go quiet for just a second while I try and do it. And oh no, this is dangerous now, actually. Oh no, I can't get hit. I can't get hit. I got to get that fire flower. Oh, yes, I did it. I did it. I, know, I didn't even get hit again. And then I can jump over that bit like that. That's what I'm supposed to do. Then I jump over this and then I drop down there. And now oh, look, there's a star. There's a star. Can I get the star? No, I fell off. <laughs> <laughs> what I could do is kind of once again purposely get hit so I'm flashing because when you get hit you're kind of invincible uh, for a few seconds so I could almost do that on purpose and then try and uh, jump over the spikes but of course I don't want to go and do that immediately I like this I like uh, a good challenge I like uh, a good challenging Mario level so this is this is fun for me like I'm very good at just constantly repeating something until I can master it like I have no problem like if I'm playing a game against someone who's way better than me I way prefer that over playing a game against someone who I'm better at than uh, than them uh, because then that way you just learn it's like a, a good challenge for you right then let's go and oh no I didn't want to do that I really didn't want to do that and can I, I got to get that star I got to get the star I got to get this I didn't get the star but it's okay I got to cross anyway and all I've made some blocks appear uh, right I got to be quick I think I think I got to be quick and jump on these blocks uh, before the time goes oh no but the time's gonna go so let's it's okay I can wait and then oh no the block doesn't appear again I'm still very healthy at the moment I haven't uh, been hit once that's about to change and it did change I need to keep running oh I got hit again but it's okay i'm just gonna charge through the pain i don't know i accidentally picked up one of the the coins uh, which got rid of one of the the blocks but i think if i'm really fast i might still be able to make it anyway go 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 no i didn't make it i think i'm stuck again now i don't think there's anything i can do so i might as well kill myself and let's have another go so i need to be really careful do you think I'm trying to rush it? I think I've failed a few times. I'm trying to rush it a little bit too much. So let's go a little bit slower and steadier, shall we? Let's uh, only go when I really know that I can. And uh, can I go now? I think I should be able to, no problem. Uh, so I did get hit, but it's okay. I've got to here. And now let's not rush. Let's take my time, wait for the, the platform, and then go. That was perfect. That was beautiful. And now I need to be very careful to do only a little jump to get over this one. And then go across. And there's the star. That's the jump. That's so difficult, though. That bit there... I really don't know how to do it. I think I need to get to that point while still uh, having the uh, the fire flower. Because I don't know, that jump, it might be just about possible. But if it is, I don't think I'm good enough to do it. So <laughs> I think I'm going to have to, to wait until I have the uh, the fire flower, uh, until I'm able to, to do that section. Uh, so let's uh, try and uh, get the, the fire flower now. And if I can, be really careful to not get immediately hit. But I was. But if I just charge over now, there we go. See, I made the uh, the most of being invincible for a bit. And oh no, I got hurt now. I've got to get that star. I got the star. I got the star. Oh no, but I picked up all the coins. I picked up all the coins. I might still just about be able to, to do this. Let's make the, the most of having the, the star. I got to jump to here then, and then here, and then here, and then, oh no, I got hit! The star ran out! I didn't realize that the star was going to run out. That was good, though. I couldn't go then because the, the cannonball was in the other way. And then there's these spanners as well. Can I get the, the fire flower? Oh, I did! Oh, look! I just fell through the block! I just fell through the floor. Did you see that? Like, I was near the edge, but I just fell through the floor. That was, I'm calling that, that was uh, Mario's fault that time. I'm not claiming uh, responsibilities for my actions there. I didn't feel like I had complete control over uh, Mario. I did the correct button input, but look, once again, I, di I did exactly what I needed to do on the controller, but Mario wasn't able to, to step up his game and uh, do exactly what I wanted him to. <laughs> of course, I'm joking. It's all my fault. Right then, let's uh, let's keep going then, shall we? Uh, let's go and get this uh, mushroom here, and uh, let's try and do this section. I haven't had any trouble at this section for quite a while, and can I make it this time? I think I can if I go and get a big jump. And I did get hit, but that's not too bad. I can... Oh, no, this is bad now. This is where it's going to be a real big challenge. I need to just try and hop over here and then hop over there. And then... Oh, look. There we go. I start... I did that section a little bit better there. Try and get the all-important fire flower. I need to do a huge jump there. And that was good. Oh, look. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that was a new way of doing things, wasn't it? That worked very well. I'm sure I'd never be able to do that again. But uh, for that case, it worked pretty well. And here we go. Let's try and jump over. And I got the fire flower. I did pick up a few coins. Uh, but I think I should still be able to, to make it. Can I jump up to here? Oh, no. I don't think I can make it. I don't think I can make it. No. I picked up too many coins. I should have gone along the... um. I should have gone along the, uh, the spikes, actually. I should have tried to jump up here. That might have been another 
another way to, to do it. Rather than charging, I kind of have time to get a, a good run up and uh, not have to worry about the uh, the cannonballs. So I think uh, definitely only trying to jump there when I can uh, is going to be a good idea. So let's get this mushroom. And oh no, I immediately got hurt. It might not matter because if I get the, the fire flower, it kind of counts like a mushroom and a fire flower. So it makes me big uh, and gives me the, the fire flower. And oh, that was good. I jumped actually on the, the cannonball. Now I need to jump over here. Right, now I need to get that star. I have to get it. I have to get it. There we go. I got the star. I did pick up a few coins, but this might still just about be doable. Is this going to be the dream run? This is looking good so far. There we go. I'm over the top. I haven't completed it yet, though. Okay, I've come down here. Now, what's down this other side here? And oh, look at that. I was able to, to ground pound that guy. And hopefully there's going to be nice things in these. Actually, just not. let's not worry about it. And oh, no. That was so mean. That was so mean. Uh, but I am still doing okay. And oh, no, I got hit again once now. This is going to make it almost impossible. And yep, <laughs> I bounced off the, the cannonball uh, straight into the the uh, the spike. Right then, right, let's go and have a... <laughs> See, I told you, the more you play, the harder it gets. So this should be a, a pretty safe jump if I go now. I want to just avoid the, the spanner and there we go. That was perfect. And then I can jump to this one. Right, this one, I don't want to jinx it, but this is starting to look like a... a <laughs> I was going to say a pretty good run. And then I go and do that and just drop off the, the level. <laughs> right, let's go straight back into... Oh, what's going on? Don't listen. He's getting in a car. He just drove away. Did you hear that? Oh, there's dogs. Now there's birds. And now there's bees. And a squirrel, maybe? And I've died. What's going on down there? <laughs> I think if I'm small, there's actually a good chance I could jump through those spikes and just get that star straight away. So even though it looked like a, a not very good run, I still think there was a, a little bit of a, a chance that I would have been able to, to make it. That's why I didn't give up. And is there going to be an opening? No, not really. Once again, I think I could have easily got the uh, the flower, uh, but then I'd have landed straight on the, the spanner. I think uh, just waiting for one bit there is the, the safer way to go. And oh, that wasn't very good. It's okay, though. I'm still going. The, the spanner just about disappeared in time. And uh, let's try and get the, the star if I can. Uh, let's just try and jump over and okay this is okay i just need to be very careful to not pick up that bottom coin i need to avoid these fireballs as well though let's just pick up that top coin because that one doesn't matter and then let's go this is where i need to be really really fast and here we go i've made it to the the top i'm not a uh, big at all so i want to be really fast here and that's what got me last time there we go that was nice though and now i need to be careful of the piranha plant and down and i did it i did it i finally completed the level whoop 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 <laughs> i did it give up i kept going and i finally completed choo choo's fourth and final level there we go sorry that this video is so much longer than they normally are but as you can see i had lots of difficulties with, uh, difficulties with the the level and so that is the, the end of my series with Choo Choo, where we've been building levels for each other. Uh, but I'll be soon uh, building levels for a new YouTuber. So make sure you check back uh, to see who that's going to be. Uh, there's, of course, going to be the ID for the course uh, in the, the description if you want to play the, uh, the level I built for myself. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!